that's the title of this song. Could this be the darkness before the dawn? Or that darkness that comes just before everything goes completely black? Someday the Arctic Ocean will melt and Santa Claus will invest in a houseboat. But the South Pole will still be cold and Scott's ghost will toast Father Christmas with a wish for sunshine and a nice bottle of sherry. Carry me back to the warmth and light, he asks. Carry me back. But ghosts don't fit in the bags we pack and they fall through the bottoms of our envelopes. They do. Too bad. The sterile corners of the world could use a good specter or two. It would raise the property value. I can't help but look around me and everyone I see in 2113 will be dead like me. Even those that are just 21, even those on a fake ID. Effortlessly, they will slip into nothing as I am slowly slipping. I hope to be as good a ghost as Scott must be. I think it helps for ghosts to be lonely. Amundsen probably doesn't haunt the South Pole. He made it home safe and whole. Only in failure do you have to walk after death, when really eternal rest might be best. There are no more South Poles. Oh, it's there, but hell, people live there. There is no new world anymore. John Smith today would be hanging out in the suburban Virginia strip mall, and if you talk to Pocahontas, he might be accused of pedophile. Pocahontas would want to drive a Honda, but her ghost paces the coast of England, trying to find a boat she can stand on and not fall through the bottom of. Part of me likes the idea of living to death, and then living again, not remembering anything. Part of me likes the idea that we only do this once, like high school, and never have to do anything ever again. And a greater part of me believes that Scott lay in that very cold tent, and at one point it got warmer, and he craved a glass of sherry, and out of the wind and cold outside the tent, Father Christmas arrived with a decanter and two glasses, and Scott looked at him, crying, knowing, and Father Christmas said, it's time, and Scott nodded his head and went to sleep, and the Arctic Ocean melted, and elves stopped making toys and started making rafts. And Christmas came early for the elves, at least. They laughed at us as they rode to Maui and had a luau.